Source. Now, WJCL News at 11. Midway police bus, none other than a lemonade stand because the three girls running it did not have a business license. Good evening, everyone. I'm Casey Jones. And I'm Jennifer Andrews. Three young girls thought if they sold enough lemonade, well, they can make enough money to go to the water park. Unfortunately, they thought wrong. Maura Kennedy joins us live in the studio with the latest. This is an incredible story. It's kind of sad, actually. It is. I mean, to think whenever you see a lemonade stand, you get really happy and you smile. Well, this sweet. is what, yeah, very sweet. And exactly what these three girls were doing when they were setting up their lemonade stand. The sellers, well, they actually are the three girls. They hope to make every cup just right, but Midway police say they're breaking city law and they have to go. Sounds threatening, huh? Three girls' dream of going to a water park was quickly put to an end after Midway police shut it down. It's kind of crazy that we couldn't sell lemonade, so. But it, it was fun and stuff, but we had to listen to the cops and shut it down. The girls had only been open for one day before Midway's police chief and an officer cruised by and saw the stand. They told us to shut it down. To shut it down. Did they tell you why they're going to shut it down? Yeah. Telling them, look, we understand you guys are young, but still, you're breaking the law, and we can't let you do it anymore. The law is the law, and we have to be consecutive are consistent with how we enforce the laws. By city ordinance, the girls must have a business license, food, and vendor's permit in order to set up shop. The city says they want to see everyone safe and healthy, and there's no exceptions to that. We were not aware of how the lemonade was made, who made the lemonade, or what the lemonade was made with. So we did act accordingly by city ordinance. It's almost like they're just, I don't know, they don't have anything better to do. <laughs> I'm going to let it go. I'm trying to teach them good. <laughs> and I don't think if I keep on and on and on that it's going to teach them a good thing. So the law wins. And what started out as three girls' dream of a fun summer business is now just a piece of plywood. The permits and licenses would cost the girls $50 a day, plus an extra $180 a year. Since the lemonade stand was shut down, the girls have been doing extra chores and yard work to make the money for the water park.